hello welcome back to my channel so i'm just sat on the sofa while i package up my new cards that have arrived um so we've got ooh, bluebell not sure how well that's showing there we go bluebell um the barn owl silver linings ooh, they're quite shiny <laughs> um but i'm really pleased with how they've turned out <laughs> Especially this one because I wasn't sure how the colours would come out so I haven't printed that myself I haven't printed bluebell actually so and my Christmas Robin oh I'm filming on the front camera so I'm not sure if that writing you'll be able to see but it says Merry Christmas but yeah I'm really pleased with how they've come out so I best get going with packaging them So these cards are listed on my website now with my others. I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to check them out. I'm working late to get some squirrel prints printed, ready for tomorrow's market. They've been a very long time coming because, let me show you, for some reason I just could not get them to print right, oh, it must have been last year now and I just gave up and, but um, so these are the ones I've just printed and then I'm not sure if you're going to be able to tell, hopefully. But um, basically, I think I didn't have the print settings set to velvet paper and they've come out really, really dull. And um, whereas on this one, you can see like all the, the pencil marks, probably the back, the darker bit of the back shows it best. Okay. Yeah, can you tell it's just... So essentially this one is really blurry um, and even with the bright colours or the vibrancy up it didn't help. Um, I mean these still aren't bad and I think they're showing up better on camera than they do in person but these that I've printed today are just so much better and I'm really happy. Now I just need to decide which colour mount board to go for. I think I will go for this dark grey and then I'll just show you. So this is the original. You really, oh it's 
the glass is glaring a bit, but there you go. So you really can't tell the difference between a print and an original. If anything, the prints end up a bit better. Oh, the other thing between this bit here, the white bit, I've um, just had to edit it because this one, the first one I did today, came out almost bright white and I think it really detracts from the whole piece because your eye is just drawn straight to here because it's so bright white. So um, on this one, I've made this bit darker and brought back the texture. Okay, so I will probably just keep this one and put it up in my studio somewhere. And I'm going to print one more, mount them up, and then I think it's time for bed. It's um, half eleven and I've got to get up early for this market. Not too early, but I've got some chores to do before we go because we're out on Sunday all day as well. So need things like doing the washing ready for work on Monday. So yeah, I'll um, get that one printed. I think I'm just going to put that down to 97 so that it just fits on the page a little bit better because it keeps um, cutting off the bottom a little bit. I'm not sure if that's just because the paper's a little bit too small but never mind. So yeah, we've got velvet which I think is where I went wrong last year. That's all fine. I'm not going to do the print preview this time because I'm happy. And go! I love how you can start to see it come into life with the light in this little window. I suppose they need to make some cool features when you spend so much money on the printer. <laughs> and there she is. Hello, <laughs> look at the state of me. Um, so I just realised I didn't have any certificate of authenticity printed, so I've just got to do some of them. And as usual, the printers have played up today. Um, the laptop wouldn't connect to the big printer to start with, but I just had to switch over the internet version. Um, and I don't know what was going on with my normal printer. But it's all going now, so I'll write up the certificates and then the prints need to dry overnight really, um, just to make sure that the ink's all set. Um, and I like to let the certificates dry so that the ink doesn't smudge and ruin the print. Um, so yeah, I could do that and then I'll get on with mounting the prints in the morning. So I'm going to have to get up even earlier, but never mind. Okay, so while I've been sat here talking to you, the printer still hasn't printed out the certificates. I really need to look into why they keep messing up, but I just haven't got time for things like that. It just keeps whirring and clunking, and it's not doing anything. Ah, oh, finally, it's going. <laughs> Yay! 
right, I can get on with this now. I never know whether it's quicker to cut these out with the scissors but than the guillotine, but at least you get a very straight line with this. <laughs> Right, I need to concentrate and make sure I don't make any mistakes. I don't want to have to print any more. Not tonight, anyway. There we go, all done. I had wanted to get some bottles repressed tonight as well, but I um, decided to do the squirrel and it took me a bit longer than I anticipated. But um, I think I've got a fair few bottles left. There's only about four or five that are out of stock. I suppose if anybody asks, they can still order those. Oh no, they're not on my website. <laughs> That's the job that I'm gonna do at the market tomorrow is um, edit the photos of the bottles uh, ready to put on my website. <laughs> so I'll just have to say to them that they'll be on my website soon or if they're local um, and they really want one, they could pay for it there and then I can make it and then deliver it. So we'll see. I'm quite optimistic that it's going to be a good day tomorrow. So, good night, and I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. You don't have the fairy name and its address. Oh, I see. 
And that's it now, we've found all the fairies. Shut the door, it'll get cold. Yeah. 